You'll be good at Latin if you work hard. These are the three things. You work hard, you're natural at it, <laughs> and um, you've got a good partner, and she's a good partner, so... Oh, thank you. Yeah. You're a good partner. Thank you. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. This week, the zigzag couples learn the rudiments of dance from a top ballerina. Turn, turn. Finish. Max and Olivia put in the hours off the floor to make sure they look good on the floor. Put it away. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's lovely. Olivia drops dance for the day to hang out with her tennis champ sister. Having talented children is amazing. <laughs> oh, my God, what is up with me? And it's the big Staffordshire competition where the judges drop a bombshell. You're having a laugh. I'm sorry. In the Bullock household, they are fueling up ahead of a jam-packed week of dance action. Got some top ballerina. She's going to put some of the, you know, our competitive couples through their paces and try and give them some posture and finishing off with their arms. I just hope I've not got to join in or be... Uh... Every day a spare pair of tights. I've got too much... Tights and lead tights. Mm. I've got too no. much... No, <laughs> I'm the one with triplets. I've obviously got something special. <laughs> and as if the ballet session isn't enough, Warren's entering all his dancers into the prestigious Staffordshire Open Championships this weekend. It is quite a prestigious title to win, so we are believing that there will be a lot of top dancers there. Motivated by the prospect of winning prizes are seven and eight-year-olds Arjun and Isabel. The best thing to do for him um, is to get trophies and win something. Top under 14 couple Jamie and Mia have their strategy all worked out, mathematically at least. In the rankings we seem to be getting first most of the time, so the mean of it is one. You just have to be prepared for anything really and just turn up and do your best at the competition. Hopefuls in the beginners category are a rather determined Emily and Jack. I want to get Hopefully. first place. You can't always promise that. <laughs> well, I promise that. And raring to go, but perhaps dancing in different directions, are juvenile duo Max and Olivia. I prefer ballroom to Latin, mainly because Dad's a ballroom dancer, Mum's a ballroom dancer, Granddad's a ballroom dancer. Uh, so then I really like that. Or you could just um, go different. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not changing. <laughs> Today, the dynamic duo have travelled to an industrial estate in Croydon to get suited and booted ahead of the big competition. What do you like? Sat and stripe down the leg? With pleats? Without pleats? Plain? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Very nice. Oh wow, that's lovely. I get all my dresses for free. How does that feel? Good. Can you breathe? <laughs> Brilliant. But like before I wasn't sponsored and they cost like £400 just for one dress. So it's a lot of money but they're so worth it. They're beautiful and you feel like a lady in them and feel like you're all grown up. I thought they were only two, 200 No. Probably your outfit. No, mate. My top costs at least 90, my trousers cost at least 90, okay. my cufflinks cost at least 20, and okay. my shoes cost at least, I don't know, 50. Okay, so it's 150. Gorgeous. Mm. It is. Yeah, it's really nice. The look is so important because that is what the judges see, first thing, as soon as they walk on the floor. Yeah, it spins fine. really well. So that is what they judge them on first, even before the music starts. I've got a lot of buttons, haven't I? Look at all these down the skirt as well. My favourite thing is to count all the buttons, yeah. Shannon is amazing and makes Olivia dresses. The, the best dresses. The best dresses that you don't usually see until a few weeks after when everybody copies them. <laughs> <laughs> How many is on here? 
Oh, he lost count. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at you! Keen not to be outdone by his dance partner, Olivia, Max has also got his eye on a new outfit. Does he look smart and handsome? Yeah. Um, not really. <laughs> 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 he looks smart. Oh, Max. Stick your little belly in. Go on. <laughs> Put it away. That's it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when I have really tight trousers on, it just like pops all out the top. With their new threads in the bag, it's time for the couple to head home and prepare for the competition. I definitely feel amazing. I'm sure you do feel amazing as well, Max. Mm. <laughs> Coming up, we find out how tough it is to be a dance mum and dad. Most of our savings have gone on the dance world. And the couples learn the principles of dance from a top ballerina. She's a really, really good ballet dancer. Yeah. And maybe she can teach us a few things. Turn, turn. Finish. Today, all the couples have been sent to Birmingham for a training session with a difference. World-renowned ballerina and actress Simone Salt is going to teach the students the foundations of classical ballet. I first discovered ballet in Melbourne, Australia when I was seven. I took my first ballet class at a school called the National Theatre Ballet. And as cliched as it sounds, I don't remember wanting to ever do anything else. Simone's career as a ballerina has seen her perform all over the world in West End musicals and several films, including this year's Beauty and the Beast. Really excited to be working with Simone today because she's a really, really good ballet dancer yeah. and maybe she can teach us a few things for our ballroom dancing as well. Yeah, my dad um, used to do a bit of ballet when he was a professional, so I really want to do it. Hello. Hi, darling. Nice I, to meet you. Yeah, I'm, I'm Warren. I'm Simone. Lovely to meet yeah. you. Are you I'm from just, Australia? Yes, don't hold it against me. <laughs> Will you be whacking a shoe on and joining us? Uh, maybe two. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> The clearest message I'd like to get across to the ballroom dancers today is how integral classical dance is to ballroom dancers and every other genre of dance. <laughs> Hello, beautiful dancers. Who loves to dance? Hands up. So we're in good company, aren't we? I was really excited about when the opportunity came up for us today to join um, because I don't think it's, it's, it's too dissimilar, really. Like, I'll be in awe of watching you do your wonderful work and your wonderful ballroom dancing, but I think there's still so much to learn from one another's technique. Are we going to have a good time? Yes. You show her. I can't hear you. Yes. Thank you, Jack. To be a world champion, you've got to open your mind to all sorts of different kinds of dance and take the best bits from each of those. Before Simone gets started with the tuition, she wants to take a look at the kind of dancers she's dealing with. They know way more than me when it comes to ballroom dancing, but I'm looking for a connection as far as their execution of the choreography. I also want a purpose and a reason and a thought behind the movement. Really good. Today I would like um, to get out of the workshop with the ballroom dancers. I will take them back to probably the, the, the basic beginnings and it's a really wonderful way of seeing where people's weaknesses and strengths are. Just that, one, two, three, four, retire, balance, finish. One, two, three, four, retire, balance, fourth, single turn, finish, tondu, close. Max's dad, Scott, a former world champion himself, knows full well the benefits of ballet for ballroom. Doing ballet is a really exciting opportunity for the kids. They are going to hopefully learn an awful lot of information that is uh, uh, coming from a different angle to Bowman Latin. To learn how to shape, how to move, how to turn. So it's nice to see it from a, a different angle. Tondu up. Preparation pirouette for turn. Turn, turn, finish. Good, lovely. I think Simone has been really inspirational to work with because she's been in so many shows and she got so much experience about the ballet. How she's done in her career and that's how we should be in our career because 
She's gone so many places around the world and that's how we want to be. So from here, take your arm out to the side. It can and will most definitely, hands down, um, benefit them in their, their chosen genre. Now pull everything out as if you're peeling back a banana. There. Push over, 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 spring like a jeté. Like a big split, good boys. She focused on the muscle control, about the centering of the core over the feet and, and posture. And you know, nothing beats brilliant posture. There, and I know that there's an emphasis on weight being so far back as opposed to what we were doing at the bar. But this here, even if I tapped you on the tummy, that would be so strong. Yeah. And if you let go of Andre, you'd be able to hold that position completely. Take the position without Andre, bang. We've learned so much and how to do the basic steps of ballet and how to control our body and our, how strong our core has to be. So what we have to do is just to imply this into our dancing. And I did notice very much when I was watching you two dance beautifully before that you had an energy and you finished the line from the tip of your finger right down to your toes. We've really enjoyed the ballet workshop today. She's great. It's a great experience yeah. for us because it helps us in our Born with Latin dancing. Between now and December, if you could take up one ballet class a week, yeah. if it was that, and then stay in contact with me and tell me whether you feel the difference. I, I had a, a little soft spot for the gorgeous little couple that were Max and Olivia, and I think I'm going to keep a little eye out for them because they just, they had something. Hopefully the couple will take Simone's advice, but it's a big ask for them to fit ballet into their already packed schedule. She was like, how long do you want to dance for me? Max was like, forever. She was like, I would advise you to Not go forever, to... Not forever, because we do need to retire at one point. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> really enjoyed the ballet today because I think that I actually learned a lot from it and there was a lot more similarities to ballroom dancing that I didn't expect. Oh, I loved working with each and every one today. With the crossover with classical dance, I do think I connected with them. As I said to the kids in there today, it's the base, it's their core base that they will go back to now and in 20 years time. So hopefully they'll take that on board and become even better ballroom dancers than they already are. Winning is the single most important element in a dancer's world, but glory takes teamwork. And behind every single one of these baby ballroomers is a determined parent whose motivation for medals helps maintain the competitive edge. Thirteen-year-old dancer Jamie is at the top of his game, and with him every step of the way is Dad Mo who is working hard to help him lay a solid foundation in his competitive dance career. I have two jobs in life. That is my main job working. Am I most speaking? And my other job is taking Jamie from A to B. It's long hours, but hopefully it'll all be worth it. Over here, we've had a new range of bricks come in called the Mia Blend, and named after uh, my family, the Mias. Most of our savings have gone on the dance world. That is with Becky and that's with Jamie. Um, our house is falling apart, it genuinely needs so much work doing to it, but we want to put the time and effort into Jamie um, because hopefully at the end of it, it will come out with a career. Ballroom beginner Jack has just started making momentum on the competitive dance circuit. And when mum, Vasa, is not scaling the country taking Jack to competitions, she can be found teaching in her front room. I am a piano teacher and I have been playing the piano since I was about nine. Right then Ellie, let's do some of your scales for your grade four exam. It was actually somebody at my children's school, music teacher to my children's school, who said to me, why don't you try teaching? You'd be really good at it. Should we do B flat major first, hands together? Well done. I'm very lucky that I enjoy my job and I enjoy teaching and then I also enjoy the, the, the world of dance and spending time with uh, my children at dance. Jack doesn't play the piano at the moment, um, he's only eight though. Um, he's just started to sort of say to me that he would like to learn. Um, he needs a bit more time to learn to play the piano. <laughs> uh, filming a TV series and dancing most of his uh, days, he hasn't got time at the moment. 
Twelve-year-old Olivia and her dance partner Max have more time than most, though, as Max's mum and dad have their own dance school. Hello. 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 Are your priorities? But whilst most parents can escape the dance world during their nine to five, for Haley it's both business and pleasure. We never really switch off if we're honest. One, two, three, four, five, again. Um, we've got group classes, uh, we've got private lessons, we've got children to teach, adults to teach. Um, there's all the commitments about owning and running a really big building. So gents, left foot forward, ladies, right foot back. Are you ready? Steady, go. Whether the jobs require brickwork, B-flats or ballrooms, time must be sacrificed if they want their offspring to succeed. Juggling work and play is quite difficult. You do spend a lot of time at work and then because of the kids' lessons and practice sessions, uh, you shoot home and then you take them here, there and everywhere. I do stop teaching a bit earlier now on a Wednesday so that I can get Jack um, and Laura where they need to go in order to pursue their dance. We work really unusual hours uh, for some parents to go down the night before the competition to stay in a hotel. They might set off in the afternoon, get in, you know, check in, enjoy dinner. Uh, poor old Max has to go to bed here. He gets lifted out of bed and walked to the car in his pyjamas. And with the upcoming competition in Staffordshire, the parents are busier than ever getting their kids prepared, all hoping to bring back that gold. There's no greater feeling when you hear your number called out as the winner and that's what we're hoping for. The whole idea of ballroom, the competitive world of ballroom is to win. That's why we invest all this time and effort, makes everything worthwhile and you'll be hearing me scream. Coming up, yes! Olivia introduces us to the other champion in her family. Having talented children is amazing. <laughs> What is up with me? And the beginners go head to head at the prestigious Staffordshire competition. If we do get first, I'm going to be really happy because this is really big. Juvenile dancer Olivia may have the big Staffordshire competition on the horizon, but today she is getting a rare morning off to try her hand at a different sport. She was up before Dad. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> you're excited about playing tennis. Olivia's older sister Charlotte is a county-level champion in the racket world and has acted as a sisterly role model, demonstrating just how much discipline is needed to succeed. You used to go from being three years old to watch Charlotte play tennis. Yeah. So you've seen that she used to come home from school, go training, come home, do her homework. Now look at Charlotte. What, what does Charlotte do now, now that she's studying for her GCSEs? How often does Charlotte go out with her friends? Never. Not very often. Neither do I, because I want to succeed. Yeah. Is it worth it, Charlotte? Yeah, 100%. If you want to do well, you have to sacrifice you everything. Work for it. With the mind and body well nourished, the girls set off for the tennis club, where 14-year-old Charlotte is queen of the court. With Max having joined up with partner Olivia, they are both looking forward to some private tuition from Charlotte. I play to a very high standard. I played for Yorkshire. I got them to national finals, came third in that. My height does help me with my tennis because I've got quite a good serve. I don't mind it taking over my life, really, because I know it's going to benefit me in the future to do what I want to do. Charlotte's really good at tennis. Just because she's been practicing so long and she's been so dedicated, I hope that we can be the same with dancing. Charlotte and Olivia are both very committed to their sport. Yes! I think a lot of it does come from me and Chris. Chris used to play professional football. He didn't end up making it and that was due to his attitude and commitment where, if, as he always says to the girls, if I knew now what I knew then, you know, it'd be a completely different story. Right, now you're going to play a match against me. Come on, we've got to work together. Come on. Despite being a tennis novice, Olivia is quick to come up with a plan. What we're going to do is try and hit it past her to make a runabout and then get all tired. What? Yeah. Yeah, try and yeah. make a runabout. But yeah. keep get it in. in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 
For Olivia's mum, Sarah, having two competitive kids can be a lot of work. We put as much effort in as what the kids want us to put in, which is at the moment a lot. <laughs> you gonna play each other now? Ultimate battle this, go on then, go. You starting, Liv? Let's go. Oh, one mil, Olivia! Oh, two nil! Things aren't going well for Max. Olivia, where are you standing? <laughs> and sometimes I lose the entire match just by my shots going straight in the net. Sebastian. Yeah, match point. Yay! What's well Max? I was really shocked because Max has done private lessons before, but Max is a really good player. And yeah. Also, I haven't played for ages, so Same. I've never played before. <laughs> With such talent running in the family, it's no wonder that Mum Sarah feels proud. Having talented children is amazing. <laughs> oh my God, what is up with me? <sighs> Sorry. My kids work so hard. I'm the proudest. <laughs> I really am. I have the best job in the world, and that's being a mum to my <sighs> two girls. So, so thank you for teaching us tennis today, but oh, now it's time to teach you how to do some Latin dancing. Are you ready? No, no he's not acceptable for an answer. <laughs> follow Max, two, three, four, I don't know you follow one, Max. Two, three, then this one forward, then this one back, back. No, do you mean back? I'm not getting back. Forward. <laughs> That's a forward. Forward. Yeah. Yeah. Good pug. Good pug. The day of the competition has finally arrived, as Britain's best ballroomers migrate to Staffordshire to grace the prestigious King's Hall with their sparkling sequins and their beautiful bronzed complexions. And amongst the ranks are some of Warren's fiercest dance soldiers all of whom are ready to march onto the ballroom battlefield and compete for victory. It's one of the iconic places of uh, ballroom dancing. It's where I did my first ever competition when I was eight. It's a really high standard. All the leading couples here in the junior ballroom, Jamie and Mia. Just, they're just all looking at us, so we're just having like this sort of intense talk at the minute. And Max and Olivia in the juvenile. In fact, there are a whole lot of Mia, Jack and Emily, Archie and Isabel. Grace and Olivia, everybody's here. The competition will get underway with all the beginner categories, and for all girl couple Grace and Olivia, the stakes couldn't be higher. This could be their last chance to get their hands on a trophy before progressing into the more difficult junior league. We're really excited as this is going to be the last time we're going to dance as juveniles, and we want to go off in a bang as like winning or in going in the final. I want your knees higher in the jive, they're like this. Get them up, get them up. But unfortunately for this dancing duo, today isn't going to be a waltz in the park. They've got one or two of their close rivals today, so I have to put a bit of fight in them. Own the place, strong, right to the middle. Also hoping to make waves this time in the beginners category, Jack and Emily will be going for gold. Since our last competition, we've improved much and I I hope that we get a first. But if we do get a first, I'm going to be really happy because this is really big. It's all right being cute, but you've got to be strong, you've got to have a maturity as well. Um, cute will only get you so far, they've got to back it up with uh, good technique and dancing now. Hot on Jack and Emily's heels are BFFs Arjun and Isabel. I hope to do like really well so we can get, get like three medals or more. Arjun is a fighter, uh, he's a determined little terrier really and he's very very competitive. However Isabel's not very well today, she's got a bit of a temperature. You alright Jack? Right. They'd already decided to come but she's not feeling too well and she looks a bit teary. I, I hope that we would win it today with loads of medals and trophies.
First up, it's time for regular friends and foes Jack and Emily and Arjun and Isabel to grace the hallowed floor for the juvenile Latin. <laughs> Having not made any finals in recent competitions, Arjun and Isabel have no choice but to succeed. We're really hopeful that the practice that they've had will really pay off today and they'll make the final. Both couples follow each other step for step, but will the pairs be keeping each other company in the final? When you had your little swap, you then went a little bit funny with the music, so it went a little bit not on quite the right bit. Yeah, well, I saw. <laughs> so, well, ideally, let's get it right next time. Whilst the judges make their decision on the beginners, it's time for all-girl couple Grace and Olivia to take to the floor, where they are hoping to sashay out of the juvenile category with a bang. danced into all girls and uh, they did really really well. Hopefully they'll come in the top four. Back with the beginners and Jack and Emily and Arjun and Isabel are forced to leave their friendship in the foyer as they have triumphantly made the Latin final and it's time for dance combat to commence. <laughs> A strong performance from both couples, but will it be enough to cha-cha charm the adjudicators? It's a close margin between those couples. There was some very tough competition they had to beat to even make the final. Into fourth place, 26, Jack Yes, yes. Well done. Never mind the kissing, get along there. Even with the tough competition, Jack and Emily secure fourth place with Arjun and Isabel hot on their heels in fifth. I think just to make finals has just delighted them, has it? and yes. us, because I think they needed that boost, really. But there is no rest for these wicked waltzers. Jack and Emily's heart is set on gold, and they will have a chance to realise their dream later today in the under-10s ballroom. I hope that we get a first or, like, second. I know we're going to win it. Coming up... The couples vie to impress the judges. We're really, 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 excited. really excited. But not all the decisions go down well with the dance mums. You're happy, <laughs> laugh. I'm sorry. It's a Sunday, that's like the best day yeah. of the week because it's a competition. Saturday's the best day of the week. Yeah, and then. Um, The competition is well underway, and it's time for Zigzag's top talent to hit the iconic King's Hall dance floor. Promising juvenile couple Max and Olivia bring personality and poise with them onto the dance floor. 
But today they will have to dig a little deeper as the arena is filled with Britain's toughest competitors. I think all the top ones are here. If we are halfway up that final, yeah. we'd be really pleased. Hope for first, but then mm. also prepare for the worst. Yeah. For Max's mum, Hayley, this competition is very close to her heart. When I came here, I was dancing as an amateur. Really? In that long. <laughs> Up and comers Jamie and Mia wish to continue their winning streak as they have been taking the under 14s league by storm. We'd like to win all the under 14s comps we can this year. Yeah, we the ambition is to get first place. Yeah, we always want first. But today's stiff competition acts as a wake up call. Jamie's got up his game a little bit because they're getting a little bit complacent. They're coming to Sunday comps and sort of thinking they're automatically going to win. All the big guns are out experienced, older, mature couples. Um, Jamie and Mia look a little bit young. I reckon we could still win. The ballroom floor is full of dangerous rivals, all keen to put a stop to their winning streak. Do you know, I think I've seen them better. I think the weight wasn't exactly pitched in the right position and it, it doesn't make them look as strong as, as I've seen them. We weren't disappointed so much because of the quality of the dancers that were out there. Push and shove, sneak into the final, hopefully. Back in the All Girls, it's Grace and Olivia's last chance to give it their all and finish their juvenile career with gold. The all-girl couple give it everything, but the result of their final dance as juveniles rests in the hands of the judges. Into second place, 24, Grace and Olivia. Success, as the all-girl couple finish their juvenile career on a high, coming second against some of the toughest competition on the ballroom circuit. To get second in our last competition as a juvenile was quite nice as we wanted to do quite well in our last competition. Going home with medals has really made it worthwhile. I think they would have liked first, but second's brilliant really. I think Grace was a little bit disappointed, but on the other hand, she's still got a medal, so she's pleased. Having had time to quickly spruce up their makeup, Max and Olivia are in the juvenile ballroom finals. We're really, 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 excited. really excited. Go on, go on, Everything seems to be going to plan until... A colossal collision right in front of the head judge. All they can do now is finesse their final footsteps and hope for the best. Really well. We've been Wait, working on... Olivia danced really well. Olivia danced really well today. We've been okay. working on following a lot and... Well, you followed really well, Thank you. except for one point. 
Thank you. The pair did dance really well, earning themselves a respectable third place, despite their ballroom bump. It was a very, very hard competition today, and to come third, we were really pleased with ourselves. Yeah, and um, the only actually people who did beat us were the people who we barely ever touched. With all the dancers busy playing with their trophies, it's now Jamie and Mia's time to shine. But having only just scraped it through into the final, the couple must step out of their comfort zone and put their money where their makeup is. Grab Jamie, grab Mia! Jamie, come here! Having laid all their tango on the table, the couple can only hope it's enough to stay top of the league. The result of the under 14s three dance, first place. Couple 21, Mason and Millie. And into second place, it's couple 43, Nikita and Mario. Oh my God, oh, Lynn. Lynn, do you know what? I'm not lost for in words. Into third place, couple number 12, Gethin and Ali. You're having a laugh, I'm sorry. That's a joke. And into fourth place, couple number nine, Jamie and Mia. We've come last. There were some hungry couples in there today and the judges decided to reward them with it. No, I'm going home. And the two I think they've just got to be better. But, you know, Jamie and Mia should use this to drive them. You learn more from a bad result than you do a good result. It's Jack and Emily and Arjun and Isabel's last chance to impress the judges and see if they can place any higher in the rankings. Jack and Emily gave it their all, but the competition is fierce, and to make it into the top three may prove extremely difficult. The standard and the event is a bigger event. It's a bigger floor, a bigger arena, and I think they have to face this to grow and learn how to deal with it. They know that the competition's been a bit tougher. Um, obviously, there was a lot of dancers here today. Yeah. And for Arjun and Isabel, a good result here would give them the confidence needed to kick-start their career. The more lessons they're having, the better they're getting at it. And we've seen that sort of passion grow in them recently yeah. as well, um, sort of wanting to do it for themselves and for each other as well. Yeah. The results are the under 10 begins. Come on, kids. Let's go, let's go. So that's into the first place. It's 
a magnificent first place for Jack and Emily as they take the crown for the under 10s ballroom. And Arjun and Isabel follow closely behind in a new career high, fourth place. got first so I was like screaming out loud. <laughs> we were super excited for them because they've really been trying hard to, to get to get to there because Emily turns 10 in August so obviously she, she can only compete in the under 10s till then so we, we really wanted to take that one off. That. Tick it off the list and we've got it so we're really really pleased for yeah. them. We have a group hug! We had a group hug! Group hug! It felt like really surprising and exciting because um, we never got, we never ever got this far with couples. They made a fourth place, a fifth place and a sixth place across Latin and ballroom. They've been uh, waiting for this moment for some time and I think they've seen their journey in terms of growing together to actually get and achieve um, the finals today has been fab. I thought Arjun and Isabel did really well because sometimes they don't always get through how they won, but today when they got in loads of finals they were really happy and I was really happy for them. As long as they're enjoying it and they want to do it, then we will bring them and we yeah. will put that time into doing it. Maybe they'll become performers in the West End as dancers or something. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Next time. Your shoes! The couples go the extra mile to look competition ready. A bit sassy. <laughs> Besties Mia and Mia are excited for their makeover. You ready? Yeah. Until it turns into a make under. Don't look at Don't my face. All the top couples head to Essex for the prestigious Super League. Going, baby. Where dad Ovi hasn't flown in all the way from Romania to see his son lose. I know that in this competition they will win. <laughs> Sorry. And back in Wolverhampton. Step, two, three, four. Warren is with the beginners. Arms up! Go! where he spotted some future champions. It's trophy time! <laughs>